Hey everyone, Austin here from Windows Fixer. So finally, Microsoft rolled out the 25H2 update for Windows 11. And guys, if you haven't updated yet, do it. You'll start getting some of the new features early as they roll out. Now, here's the interesting part. Microsoft actually added a new debloating policy inside this update. And yeah, it does improve performance, but there's a little condition on it. Basically, it's a Microsoft-built debloater, and you can find it right inside the Group Policy Editor. Pretty cool, right? It lets you remove default apps directly from Windows. No third-party tools or risky scripts needed. So here's how you can access it. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box, type gpedit.msc, and hit Enter. Once you're in, on the left side, expand Administrative Templates, then open Windows Components. Now, scroll through that huge list until you find App Package Deployment and double-click on it. Inside there, look for a policy called Remove Default Microsoft Store Packages from the System. Open it, and first thing, make sure to set it to Enabled. Now, under Options, you'll see the setting called Remove Default Microsoft Store Packages from the System. And trust me, these are the same pre-installed apps that quietly eat your PC performance. Many of them run in the background, syncing stuff or staying active even when you don't use them. That means dropped FPS for gamers, higher RAM usage, and slower startup times. Stuff like Copilot, Xbox Identity Provider, and all those Xbox-related background services, they look harmless, but they do drag down performance, especially on gaming rigs. So pick the unnecessary ones, hit Apply, and then OK to finish. Now, here's where things get a bit disappointing. This feature is currently available only for Windows 11 Enterprise and Education Editions. Yeah, Microsoft didn't include it in Pro, which honestly doesn't make much sense. I mean, think about it. Over 400 million Windows users and barely 15 million actually use Xbox apps regularly. So why limit this feature to Enterprise and Education? Feels like Microsoft's trying to protect their bundled apps instead of giving users real control. And I'm on Pro Edition myself. I can see the option, but it doesn't actually work, which just feels unfair because most regular users, gamers, students, and small business owners use Windows 11 Pro, not Enterprise or Education. So yeah, this new feature is useful, but also not useful, if you know what I mean. If you're lucky enough to be on Enterprise or Education, give it a try and let me know how much smoother your system feels. But if you're on Pro like most of us, well, Guess we're still stuck with third-party tools to de-bloat Windows properly. Anyway, that's it for today's quick breakdown, guys. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments and hit that subscribe button for more real Windows fixes and optimizations. Till next time, take care. Austin out.